And basically what it is is we're going to make toys that move um, using a tin can as the base for the toy. So most of the stuff I make has a component that will spin or, or crank or twist or open up or... Um, and it, it, my jewelry is relatively narrative, so I like movement. Um, and this using tin cans is a wonderful way, both to experiment with movement and also um, do it less expensively than with silver. Where, did, where was the first time you like learned how to do the hand crank? What was the first the, the little crank that we just did yes. in class? Where did you first learn? Well, when I was in art school, there is an art, an artist, Arthur Ganson, and he came to school and was talking to us about um, how he was making his gears and and making cranks and things, and um, pretty much I listened to him and then I got a book and I figured it out. A lot of it's trial and error. You know, you you say I want something to do this, so you just sort of fiddle until you can figure out the right mechanism. How did you get in contact with Scooter Guards and how did you get a class at that? Um, well, I know Mary um, and she asked me to um, teach a class and I said, sure. Well, I, I'm just, I'm an instructor for Arts for All and Mary Lowry uh, is the executive director and I think she's been doing this for 17 years she gets a bunch of different artists together to offer workshops uh, for Scooty Guards for All and so it's a wonderful opportunity to give classes and take classes in this area where there's not you know a school that provides that so I enjoy it because I live in Deer Isle and um, I, that's where my studio is, so it's it's fun to come up here and meet new people, um, and I, I love what I do. So, and Mary's very accommodating. The program is wonderful. I like it a lot. Um, one thing, I, I hope that people come and take classes here. There's so many different classes, and I. Um, they're, they're building, this, the first time I came, this building had nothing in it. And Mary's been calling to people to say, well, do you have this tool, that tool? And I guess I'd love it if people had an extra tool to get in touch with Mary Lowry and say, hey, I have this blacksmithing anvil, or I have this whole set of pliers I don't know what to do with, would you like them for the school? Because I think part of the way that this works is that um, we all sort of pitch in and if we have an extra tool or extra or have some knowledge we can share it and I think this is a wonderful opportunity for both myself and I can take classes as well and for people that take classes to learn something new and fun and different.